Ramsey, Daniel Vicks, and uh, Mark ja uh, Zandri. And uh, I guess uh, Rio will give the talk. Can you hear me? Thanks for the, in the inter introduction. I'm going to talk about uh, Toyota tracing. This is a joint work with Daniel and Mark. So let's start with uh, what is the Toyota tracing. In Toyota tracing, uh, each user has uh, a secret key based on their identities, uh, which uh, uh, was generated by a uh, trusted third party and uh, a server uh, and uh, generate uh, cipher text of uh, uh, contents, and uh, this server uh, broadcast this uh, uh, encrypted contents to all users. And each user can decrypt this encrypted contents by using their own secret keys. Uh, and uh, we can consider uh, the following situation. Uh, some, party, uh, some users may be corrupted and uh, a pirate uh, get uh, some secret keys from corrupted users, and uh, this pirate decoder may uh, generate a pirate decoder program from these uh, secret keys of corrupted users. And uh, if the pirate decoder upload this uh, pirate uh, decoder program, then a anyone can uh, decrypt uh, the encrypted contents. However, in Toyota tracing scheme, uh, we have our trace algorithm, and this trace algorithm has a black box access to uh, the pirate decoder, and then uh, the trace algorithm can identify one of our users, uh, one of corrupted users, uh, by using uh, uh, black box access to pirate decoder. So this uh, system can be used to uh, some uh, pay TV system. Okay. And there are a lot of uh, Toyota tracing schemes so far. Uh, for example, Bonus High Waters proposed uh, a, an efficient Toyota tracing scheme based on Barnia maps. Here, capital N is uh, the number of user identities. And uh, their scheme achieved uh, uh, all, all the square root N ciphertext size. And Bonnet Chandari also proposed the Toyota tracing scheme based on indistinguishability of obfuscation. Uh, there, uh, in this scheme, the cipher takes size uh, of uh, log capital N. However, both of these schemes, uh, the running time of trace algorithm is uh, of uh, capital N. So here, uh, the number of user identity must, must be polynomial. Uh, but uh, in our paper, we achieved a Toyota tracing scheme uh, for exponentially many identities. So uh, it means uh, capital N is uh, 2 to the small n. Uh, we can uh, use uh, 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 n bit strings as the ID space. To achieve this, we propose a new tracing technique. And we, all, we also propose a general framework for traceability we call Oracle Jump Finding Program. By using this general framework, we can uh, obtain various uh, trader tracing scheme from various assumptions. For example, if we use a standard public key encryption scheme, we can achieve Q-bounded collision, collision resistant uh, trader tracing and uh, the cipher text size is order of small n uh, times the polynomial of Q. And if we use indistinguishability obfuscation, we can achieve adaptive security. Adaptive security means unbounded collision resistance. And uh, the cipher text size is polynomial log of small n. So our construction is uh, asymptotically very efficient. And we also propose a trace and revoke system for exponentially many identities. Uh, these are our results. And uh, in previous Toyota tracing scheme, uh, user identity is just a number, so we need some correspondence between uh, user identity and user information. 
However, in our Florida tracing scheme, we can embed arbitrary information in the key, so we, do, we don't need a database of users in our Florida tracing scheme. So if we uh, generate a user secret key via, for example, secure multi-party computation, then uh, our Florida, Florida tracing scheme can be anonymous. This is a, a benefit of our framework. Okay, this is, uh, this is uh, our result. So let's move to a uh, security definition of uh, trader tracing. Uh, I, I focus on uh, traceability. Uh, first, the challenger send uh, a public key to the adversary, and the adversary has access to key generation oracle, uh, which takes uh, identity as input and uh, output the secret key for this I identity. And this uh, Oracle maintained a list L uh, uh, of uh, uh, corrupted user, user identities. The size of L is uh, Q. At some point, the adversary output two plain text and pirated decoder D and uh, uh, success probability of decry decryption of pirated decoder D. Now, the challenger ran a trace algorithm uh, which has black box access to pirate decoder D, and finally output to a list of key. With the winning condition of the adversary is the following. If the list uh, includes uh, uh, honest user identity, then the adversary wins. Or if the pirate decoder uh, has a non-negligible non advantage of uh, uh, decryption probability, and uh, this uh, list T uh, does not include uh, corrupted user's identity, then the adversary wins. This is the definition of traceability. Okay. So uh, now let's move to previous approach and uh, its limitation. Uh, Bonus High Waters uh, proposed the trader tracing scheme by using a private linear broadcast encryption scheme. Uh, I call the PLBE for short. Uh, in PLBE, we have a trapdoor encryption algorithm uh, which takes uh, index and plaintext as uh, input. And this trapdoor ciphertext is for uh, users uh, in the region from index zero to index T. If secret key for identity I is uh, in, the, in this region, then we can uh, decrypt this trapdoor ciphertext by using secret, secret key SKI. However, if the index is outside of this region, then we cannot decrypt this trapdoor ciphertext. And uh, PLBE satisfies the following security properties. First, uh, trapdoor ciphertext under index uh, capital N, then this ciphertext is indistinguishable from standard ciphertext. Second, if uh, ciphertext is uh, under index zero, then this uh, ci trapdoor ciphertext sat satisfies uh, semantic security. And uh, uh, the final uh, security property is uh, index hiding. Index hiding means uh, the cipher trapdoor ciphertext is under a different index T and T prime. However, the adversary cannot distinguish these two ciphertexts under two different index T and T prime. Of course, uh, if the adversary has a secret key SK sub i in the region from T to T prime, then we can easily distinguish these two trapped ciphertexts. So the adversary is not allowed to uh, have uh, this uh, secret key SKI in this region. So how to use uh, this PLBE to uh, achieve a uh, trader tracing scheme? Uh, in Bonnest High Water's construction, uh, encryption algorithm of trader tracing scheme is uh, a trapdoor, cipher uh, trapdoor encryption algorithm and the uh, index N. So under index N means uh, this trapdoor ciphertext is for all users. If user has a secret key, this, uh, the user can decrypt this ciphertext. Uh, 
how to work, uh, how the trace algorithm work. Uh, the trace algorithm incrementally check decryption probability by using uh, probability cipher text uh, as follows. First, uh, generate uh, probability cipher text and uh, index zero, and next, uh, generate the probability cipher text and uh, index one, then uh, send these uh, cipher text to uh, the pirate decoder and check the probability difference of these uh, two cipher text. And so and so forth. Uh, if uh, there exists a noticeable uh, probability difference between uh, two index, then uh, trace algorithm uh, identify uh, which a, a user is uh, prop, uh, property the user. So uh, from the security property of PLBE, if a uh, pirate decoder succeeding uh, decryption, then uh, there must exist some index i, uh, which uh, the success uh, probability of decryption is uh, greater than some non-negligible uh, probability delta. However, this uh, contradicts contradict to the security of uh, index hiding. So we can, uh, suc uh, the trace algorithm succeed uh, tracing. So this is uh, uh, the result of Bonnet's high waters. However, uh, Bonnet's high waters and Bonnet Chandari use uh, uh, the linear search trace algorithm as I explained. So uh, the running time of this uh, trace algorithm is uh, order of capital N. Uh, this is a limitation of uh, previous uh, constructions. So now let's move to our approach to uh, go beyond the, the exponential barrier. First, we propose a clean abstraction uh, we call Oracle jump, find, jump finding problem. Uh, uh, an oracle can be seen as a pirate decoder in data tracing setting. And large jump means uh, the large uh, success probability difference of uh, two trapped cipher text. And we also propose a carefully designed binary search algorithm to go beyond the exponential barrier. This the learning time of this algorithm is polynomial of small n and q. So we can uh, treat uh, uh, exponentially many identities. Here, q is uh, the number of property users. Uh, this uh, algorithm is I inspired by a Clipper approach in uh, Boy, uh, Boyer John uh, Pass paper, which shows uh, Differing input obfuscation is equivalent to indistinguishability obfuscation uh, in a totally different context. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's move to the, the definition of Oracle jump finding problem. Uh, in Oracle jump finding problem, there exists an Oracle P, which takes uh, index i and uh, output some probability. And uh, this uh, curve is uh, uh, indicate uh, a success uh, probability of this uh, Oracle P. And uh, the first rule of this uh, problem is uh, the difference between P of uh, capital N and uh, P of zero is greater than epsilon. This means the success probability of uh, pirate decoder. And uh, uh, zero is a set C, is, uh, uh, which is subset of uh, the region from one to uh, capital N. Uh, this can be seen as a corrupted users. And uh, there are several large jump uh, in this uh, curve. And uh, only this large jump occurs only at the uh, uh, corrupted user index. And in other part, uh, the probability difference is uh, less than uh, small delta. So uh, this is a rule of Oracle jump finding problem. And the goal of this problem is find uh, uh, one of uh, uh, large jump. 
So we can identify corrupted users by finding this large jump. Okay, this is the definition of Oracle jump finding problem. And we propose a polynomial time uh, algorithm for this problem. Uh, here, uh, I explain by deterministic algorithm, press, uh, press algorithm, which has Oracle access to P, and uh, output uh, one of a traitor. And uh, this algorithm uh, uh, lands uh, in, uh, in polynomial of uh, log of capital N and Q. Again, Q is number of corrupted users. Uh, if uh, and if uh, epsilon satisfy this condition, and in real setting, pirate decoder um, uh, is a probabilistic algorithm. So uh, we, uh, in fact, uh, our trace algorithm is also probabilistic algorithm with oracle access to some noisy oracle. Uh, here, P is just a deterministic oracle, but in the real setting, uh, we. Uh, analyze uh, of this uh, algorithm by using noisy oracle. But for simplicity, I uh, explain by this uh, simplified uh, deterministic setting. So now I, ex I explain our basic press algorithm. First, uh, this is inspired by BCP 14 paper. First, uh, I is interval from A to B, and uh, large delta sub I is uh, the probability difference of index uh, B and index A. Next, if uh, uh, large delta sub I is less than or equal to small delta, then this algorithm abort and output uh, empty, st empty state. Else if the size of interval is equal to one, then output B as a corrupted user. And else if uh, we divide this uh, interval i into two parts, and uh, then recursively apply this basic trace algorithm for uh, both these two regions. So this is a kind of a, a binary search algorithm, but we uh, explore two uh, regions uh, at the same time. So you might think this algorithm does not stop in polynomial time. However, uh, oh sorry, uh, for I. Uh, we apply this basic algorithm for uh, entire interval to, to the end, and, but this basic press algorithm is called for at most two Q intervals in each level. Uh, why? Here is a key observation. Key observation. Uh, Q is uh, the number of uh, corrupted users or the number of large jump. This Q is polynomial. So. Here is uh, uh, about condition. If probability difference is less than or equal to small delta, then this uh, algorithm will stop. So uh, the number of corrupted user is very sparse in the whole regions. So uh, even if we uh, apply binary search uh, to uh, these two divided region, uh, this algorithm will stop quickly. Because uh, uh, this algorithm uses this about condition, so uh, our, our algorithm uh, runs in polynomial time. Okay. So uh, how to instantiate uh, our, uh, Toretta tracing scheme in our framework? Here is a big picture of our result. We construct a Toretta tracing scheme from uh, adaptive secure uh, PLBE or private block linear broadcast encryption scheme. And we use uh, our framework, Oracle Jump Finding Program, uh, Finding Problem Framework, and uh, uh, sof sophisticated binary search algorithm, just I explained uh, now. And how to construct a PLBE? Uh, we use uh, functional function. Uh, this is a trivial in implication. Uh, then uh, we can uh, get uh, uh, various functional languages from uh, various uh, assumptions. These are known results. For example, we can uh, obtain functional languages from indistinguishable visualization or sub-exponential LWE or standard public key encryption. So uh, we can get uh, our Toretta tracing scheme for exponential remaining users from these uh, various assumptions. And uh, 
we also propose the uh, new uh, construction, uh, which we call uh, functional relinquishing with revocation. Uh, this is also our new result. And uh, if we achieve the functional relinquishing with revocation, uh, we can get uh, total stressing scheme with revocation by using the uh, same technique. So uh, let's move to uh, eff the efficiency of our greater tracing scheme. So we use a uh, uh, functional action to achieve PLBE. Here, a uh, secret key for identity is the secret key of functional action uh, for function F sub ID. And the ciphertext is the ciphertext of functional action, uh, encryption of uh, set S and plaintext N. How to obtain plaintext N? If identity is in this set, then this functional relinquishing uh, decryption algorithm outputs the plain text n. So we can achieve PLBE trivially from functional encryption. And here we set uh, this set S as a whole identity space to the n. So we need a uh, uh, n bit to describe this uh, set uh, S. So uh, the ciphertext size of our scheme is polynomial of small n. And we can also achieve more compact ciphertext size, uh, order of log of small n. How to, how to do this? Uh, first, uh, we divide ID into blocks, like this. Uh, divide ID into n blocks. Then we can identify one of the blocks by using only log of small n bit. And uh, more concretely, uh, for n bit string ID, we convert this n bit string ID into uh, another identity ID, uh, like this ID sub i is equal to two times s minus ID prime sub i. Here s is common tag for all identity ID. And okay, uh, so uh, this tag is for uh, reconstruction, reconstruct ID from these two divided IDs. By using this, uh, uh, Dividing, uh, we can identify identity as uh, uh, log of small n times uh, security parameter. So we can achieve log order of log of small n ciphertext. But for uh, to achieve this, we need a, a generalized oracle jump finding framework. Uh, but uh, I skip this uh, explanation uh, due to the limitation of time. Okay, let's summarize uh, of this talk. Uh, we propose uh, a compact greater tracing scheme and the trace and re revoke scheme for exponentially many identities uh, from various assumptions like uh, standard public key encryption or MW or indistinguishable obfuscation. Uh, to achieve this, we propose a general uh, abstraction or called the Oracle Jump Finding Problem. And uh, we propose a new trace algorithm by using a sophisticated uh, binary search algorithm. Uh, there is an open issue. Uh, for the most compact scheme of uh, our result, we need indistinguishability obfuscation. Uh, but can we construct uh, such scheme by using uh, result uh, indistinguishability obfuscation, for example, uh, LW assumption? That's it. Thank you for your attention. Any questions before lunch? Um, okay, I'll ask a question. Uh, so the functional encryption is uh, you only need it for one query. You don't need like unbounded queries, just one query. Uh, depending on what we achieved. Uh, if we need uh, adaptively secure one, then we need adaptively secure functional encryption. We, if uh, we achieve the bounded collision scheme, then we can use the standard public encryption or bounded collision functional encryption. Okay. All right, so I guess lunch.